Hello, we're live from the man cave. We've taken a short break after tuning the edges of our skis. So now we're going to go on to waxing the skis. But before we wax them, I thought I'd just go over a little bit of the interaction of wax and ski structure so you get a better understanding of what you're trying to accomplish when you wax a ski. The way a ski works is as it glides across the snow, it melts a micro layer of that snow and then rides on top of that water. And so what the wax does is it creates what we call a friction between that snow and the ski base to create that water. If you have too soft a wax on your ski, the snow crystals will cut into that and you won't generate much friction there. But what will happen is your ski will slow down because the snow crystals are cutting into it. If you have too hard a wax on your skis, it doesn't work as well because you don't create the friction to err on the side of being too hard is much preferred. You'll still have good skis, you just won't have that optimum performance. What the structure does on the ski is it gives the ski a way of managing that moisture that it's created under the ski. If you have a real fine base or a real fine structure on the ski and it's a real wet snow, what will happen is that ski will suck down from what we call wet friction or from suction underneath the ski. And it there isn't any amount of waxing that will get a ski moving once it is sucked down from wet snow. On the other hand, if you have that real coarse grind on the ski or a real open structure on the ski and you go out on a fine powder day, what will happen is all of that fine powder snow will catch up into that structure and that will slow the ski down and you won't get optimum performance. So it's really important to balance that ski structure with the wax to get optimum performance. The best thing to do on an alpine ski is to go in and talk to your stone grinding technician, explain to him what type of skiing you're doing, where and what you prefer. Then he can recommend a structure on the ski that works well in all of those conditions. So for through the midwinter you may want a finer pattern and then come if you do a lot of spring skiing you may want to change that and go to a little coarser pattern on the ski. But it's really important to match the wax to the snow in the, in the uh, ski base, the structure in the ski to the snow also. So that's why it's key to use a temperature specific wax so you gain an optimum performance. What we're going to do today is we're going to start with our base prep wax which is a soft wax designed to penetrate into the base and we're going to do a hot scrape on the ski to clean it. I see people take wax remover to clean a ski that really isn't what you want to do. That wax remover pulls the wax out of the ski. What makes the ski fast is having layers and layers of wax in it. What we're going to do is actually add wax into the ski and clean it at the same time. Then we're going to go to our HSF 30 racing wax on it, or the low floral racing wax on the ski. So we'll get started right now waxing the ski. The first thing we're going to do is we put the ski up on the bench and we're going to take our super fine stainless steel brush and we're going to brush it off, work it from tip to tail and brush all that old wax out of the ski. And this will pull a lot of that dirty snow and dirty wax, dirty uh, residue out of the ski. Then we're going to take and melt our base prep in and do a hot scrape. This is the only time we uh, will do where we scrape the ski while it's still warm to pull that wax out. So work our ski from tip to tail and we'll pull that iron down the ski nice and easy. And we pull a bead behind the ski of a couple inches, showing us that we're getting good penetration of that wax into the ski. And I'll give it a second pass just to make sure we're getting good penetration here. Then we'll grab our scraper, give it a few passes on our sharpener to make sure it's good and sharp. 
and we'll scrape the ski walls warm. This is the only time we do this, and we do this to clean that ski. And again, we work the ski from tip to tail. And we'll make sure that we clean our edges off. We never want to leave wax solidify and sit on the edges of the skis. It just makes it hard to get it off. And we'll take our brush, our stainless steel brush, and we'll brush the ski out again. Clean that structure out of the ski. Now I can go over this and do a second coat with the base prep, scrape it, and uh, polish it out. But what we'll do is we'll go right on to putting our erasing wax on the ski just to uh, show how that is done. Coverage about a drip every half inch or so is usually sufficient on the ski. And I work it back and forth here to get it started. Steady and I'll give it a second pass and then iron. Scrape the tail of the ski off quick. And I'll clean my edges on the ski to make sure that we don't have any wax sitting on those edges. Get the base edge here. Then we'll let the ski cool down to room temperature generally for about half an hour before we scrape. Well, we've taken a break, let our ski cool for about half an hour now. It's down to room temperature, so we're going to go ahead, scrape, and brush it off. We'll start again working the ski tip to tail.
fine stainless steel brush again, and we'll go down the ski, brush that wax onto the structure. brush, give it a few passes with that, clean it up a little more. And then we'll polish with our nylon brush. This brush here, we just go back and forth on the tree and kind of buff it up nice and put shine to it. That ski is ready to go skiing. We have a good fast ski.